guess we're having a solar eclipse today. So far, it's a beautiful morning here in central Iowa. Temperatures right now are probably in the 70s. Fairly light wind, we had some rain overnight. But here in just a little bit, the eclipse is supposed to start about a half hour from now or so. Unfortunately, I think it's gonna be mostly cloudy here. It does look like over that way and off in the distance that maybe the clouds are starting to clear out, but, uh, but I think it's supposed to be cloudy all day. But here in central Iowa, we are supposed to have 95% um, whatever they call it, blockage of the sun by the moon. So it should get fairly dark here and I'm gonna try to get this on camera just like probably millions of other people are doing. I'm pretty sure there won't be any shortage of eclipse videos on YouTube. Right, Moxie? It kind of cracks me up how a lot of these places are saying your pets need to be taken inside. I, I don't see Moxie staring up at the sun wondering what's going on and I really doubt it's going to affect her a whole lot one way or another. It's, it'd be like a big cloud going over something maybe. I, I don't know. I have experienced one other eclipse in my lifetime. Well, I've, I've seen a couple actually, but none that you really would know are an eclipse unless I think we use binoculars and a piece of paper and you could see the sun getting partially blocked. But I remember when I was a kid, we had an eclipse and it did get darker out. I don't think it got as dark as it's going to get this time around, but it did get noticeably darker and it was a little bit, it was a little strange. It was kind of cool as I remembered. I think I was in elementary school if I remember right. I'm hoping this time around it actually gets fairly dark out. We'll see. Right now we have about 25 minutes till they say it's supposed to start in this area and I'm anticipating you're not gonna be able to tell much difference for a while. With all the clouds around, it'd be just like clouds blocking the sun, I imagine, for a while. Like I said, the maximum is supposed to be in a couple of hours and we'll see what it brings. So nothing to do now but wait and uh, and we'll see what happens here after a while. Right now it is about, I think it's about 20 after 11 in the morning. So I'll try to keep up on the time so you kind of have some idea of the time frame we're looking at here. But as of right now, it's just an overcast day with uh, nothing special going on today. George, what you doing, George? What do you think? Don't stare at the sun, okay? Okay. Well, we have cloud cover. Just had a shower going on and we have some thunder in the background. It's about, I think 10 till 12, something like that. It's supposed to be just starting here. I checked with some binoculars and uh, just on the railing of the porch here a little bit ago, I couldn't see any blockage of the sun at all. Getting a little windy there. It's just a not a real good day here. I think we have about the worst viewing of the eclipse in the country right now, which I would never know anything's going on at the moment. You've got all these clouds and everything overhead. Maybe in another hour or so, we'll be able to tell it's uh, doing something. Hopefully these clouds bug out of here. Been talking to the Central Oregon shenanigan boys. Looks like, uh, looks like they are viewing the eclipse. There's Kyle with their setup. Looks like they made a big pair of viewing glasses for their camera. And it has started to rain here once again. And the wind's picking up. We don't get any rain all summer and then the one day that I'm really wanting to do some recording we get this. Well, just thought I'd give a little update here. It's about 12.30, and except for things being on the news and a couple other YouTubers 
sending me some pictures and seeing things online. I don't think I'd know anything was going on. It's just too cloudy and rainy and dark here anyway. Maybe in another hour or so, actually be able to notice something is going on. But right now, just, just clouds. Well, you can tell we got about 20 minutes or so until um, we're under the 95% totality or whatever they're calling it. And you can tell with the sun out now, I mean, it's peeking through the clouds up there and it's, it's not as bright as you would expect it to be, but still with all the clouds, I don't know if I'd really think much of it. But we'll see if it, uh, we'll see if it gets a little darker here real soon. Yeah, it's about 10 minutes later now. It's still kind of hard to tell with the cloud cover, but I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but you can tell that it's there's something a little different. The sun will peek out every once in a while, and it's just, it's like a... Well, we have about 14 minutes until it's going to be blocked as much as it's going to be blocked here, which I think I've said a couple times, it's supposed to be 95%. Definitely a little darker out than you would think, but... It's just hard to tell with as much cloud cover as we have. Got my good friend the praying mantis on the back door. I don't know, we've got like nine or ten minutes now, I think, until totality. And, uh, raining pretty good just off that direction been thundering some and just can't really see anything here it is darker out than usual but I would just think it's the clouds and uh, it's starting to rain now so I don't know if you can trick yourself into thinking yeah it's darker than it normally would be but uh, if I didn't know any better I I'd, I'd say it's just a storm coming through I'm just gonna keep filming here we got about six minutes now and uh, it's dark but just hard to tell anything really is going on too much. Things look a little different. One patch of blue sky. That needs to be over here somewhere. Three minutes now till totality. And again, it just seemed like a heavy rain shower is going to be coming through with thick clouds or something. Really rather unimpressive here in central Iowa. So far I've seen some pictures from Oregon and Wyoming and it looked pretty cool and I've been told that it was it was pretty cool. So far here, not so cool. Well, totality is supposed to be at 108 and it is 108. It's supposed to go on for a couple of minutes. Uh, not as dark as I thought it would be. The sun is right up there somewhere. Not real impressed, still. I think my daughter's coming out. I told her to come out. At least she can say she experienced it. Um, but it doesn't seem to be a whole lot to experience. Wet, rainy, a little chilly out. Breezy if I get out beyond the house. Not horribly dark. I think this may have been a little more impressive if it wasn't cloudy out. Well, the length of totality, as they call it, is over. And uh, my daughter just went back in the house and uh, she said this was pretty pathetic. She was rather disappointed. She was like, this is my first one ever, with mine too, to this extent anyway, which it really wasn't much of an extent. It got darker, but it didn't get as dark as I thought it was going to. And without being able to really see the sun, it, it just seemed like clouds were going over. It's still darker than usual, and you probably can't see, but way off in the distance over there are some grain bins that the sun is actually reflecting off of. And just knowing what those would look like with the sun reflecting off of them, you can tell it's it's not as bright. This is certainly not something I would travel hundreds of miles to go see. I, I know that. Well, now the sun is poking out a little bit. You can see some shadows on the ground, which are not as strong as they would usually be. It's just kind of uh, kind of like a dim flashlight poking through the clouds.
still not overly impressive. But I think the whole ordeal is about over here in central Iowa. It is for me anyway. And we will get back to some regularly scheduled programming. Now the sun's coming out. Well, doing this little trick with the binoculars, which the sun's starting to go back under. It's about half blocked right now. I don't know if you can even see that on there. But I'm not doing a very good job. I don't have a good way of holding this steady. So apparently it really did happen. But I'm getting all wet out here. It's still raining a little bit. Sun's coming out now. A little. Anyway, that is the solar eclipse. Central Iowa 2017. Not real impressive from my standpoint anyway. I think I'm going to go inside. I'm getting wet and uh, I think this whole thing is about over here. So go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, we'll, we'll get back to some regular videos now. And we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.